in the fiercely competitive world of wide-body aircraft. The Boeing 777X and Airbus A350 have dominated the skies, battling for supremacy as the go-to options for airlines seeking cutting-edge long-haul jets. For years, this battle appeared to be reserved solely for these Western aerospace giants. There seemed to be no room for a third contender. However, Russia is now attempting to disrupt this duopoly with the IL-964UM, an ambitious project aimed at challenging Boeing and Airbus's dominance. But how can this Russian jet stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with its powerful Western rivals? Is it what makes it distinctive enough to be considered a serious threat? To understand this, we must first rewind to the 1970s when the Illusion IL-86 rushes. First wide-body aircraft made its debut. This was a groundbreaking development for its time, intended for long-haul flights. It introduced unique innovations like built-in staircases to enable operation at underdeveloped airports. Yet this innovation also meant compromises in cargo space. By the late 1980s, it became evident that Russia required a more competitive wide-body solution, leading to the birth of the IL-96300. This wasn't a mere upgrade. It introduced PS90 engines, a significant leap beyond older Soviet designs. Finally bringing Russian engines closer to Western standards in performance and fuel efficiency. Despite high hopes that the IL-96300 would become the backbone of Russian aviation, it struggled commercially. Its limited capacity didn't appeal to airlines prioritizing larger aircraft that could carry more passengers and cargo at lower operational costs. To address this shortfall, Russia introduced the IL-96-400 to in the early 2000s, featuring extended length, aerodynamic improvements, modern avionics, and more advanced onboard systems. This aircraft could carry more passengers and fly further distances. Even with these upgrades, however, the IL-96-400 found little success globally as Boeing and Airbus had already captured the market, and airlines increasingly preferred twin NGN aircraft for superior fuel efficiency, leaving 4NGN designs outdated. Yet just when the story seemed over, a new chapter began. Spurred by Western sanctions and the growing demand for domestically built aircraft, Russia decided to revive the IL-96 program, resulting in the IL-9640M, an improved version with longer range, enhanced fuel efficiency and modernized systems. This move isn't merely technical, it's a strategic attempt by Russia to reclaim its place in the wide-body market. Whether this jet can break through, or meet the fate of its predecessors, remains to be seen. Every aircraft needs a reliable engine, and for the IL-9640M, that's the PS90. Still reading? Oh, that's awesome. We're on a journey to 50,000 subscribers, and you can help make it happen. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, let's reach this goal together. Huge thanks. It's originally introduced in the late 1980s. The PS90 was a milestone for Russian aviation, competing with engines like the Rolls-Royce RB211 and Pratt and PS2 Whitney, PW4000 in fuel efficiency, noise reduction, and emissions compliance. Though a significant improvement over Soviet-era engines, the PS90 couldn't fully close the gap with its Western rivals as airlines demanded even more fuel savings. Russia responded with the PS90A2, a refined version boasting advanced materials, better fuel consumption, and lower maintenance costs, offering roughly 10% better fuel efficiency than its predecessor. The A2's improvements are significant in an industry where even a 1% gain can mean millions saved annually. Moreover, Russia is developing the PD-35, a next-generation powerhouse with up to 76,000 pounds of thrust. Designed to compete with Boeing 777X's GE-9X to further cut fuel burn, emissions, and maintenance costs, the challenge lies in developing this engine entirely without foreign components, a necessity under sanctions. If successful, the PD-35 could solidify Russia's aviation independence and become a significant player in the global engine market. The il 9640 m isn't just a stretched IL-96-300. It marks a considerable evolution in both design and technology. Its nearly 10-meter fuselage extension allows it to accommodate up to 436 passengers in an all-economy configuration, boosting operational efficiency and helping airlines reduce costs per flight. 
or dynamically, the 400 meters features enhanced wings. For reduced drag, better flight performance, and improved fuel economy. Its redesigned fuselage optimizes airflow, extending range and reducing operating expenses, a crucial factor for long-haul routes. The aircraft's avionics have seen significant upgrades too. With modern electronic flight systems, aiding pilot control, and advanced navigation and communication, ensuring stability in all weather. Inside, it prioritizes passenger comfort with spacious interiors, larger overhead bins, and updated in-flight entertainment systems. Airlines can customize cabin layouts to suit different segments, from economy to premium classes. With these upgrades, the IL-964UM isn't just another widebody. It's positioned as a strategic player in today's aviation market. But is this enough to be a true game changer? In terms of performance, the IL-964OM boasts a range of approximately 10,000 kilometers, making it ideal for international long-haul routes. However, one question looms. Is a four-engine design still relevant when the industry is moving toward more fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft? Four engines offer enhanced safety on routes over remote areas or oceans, making this aircraft attractive for specific operations. Yet the drawbacks are clear. Higher maintenance costs, and greater fuel consumption. Compared to twin-engine competitors like the Boeing 777X and Airbus 350-1000, this is where a potential breakthrough emerges. Acknowledging this challenge, Russia is exploring a twin-engine version of the 400M, powered by the PD-35. Such a development could dramatically improve efficiency and reduce costs, it's making the aircraft more competitive globally. Lower fuel consumption also means reduced carbon emissions, increasingly crucial as the world prioritizes sustainability. Beyond economics and ecology, geopolitics play a role. Sanctions limit Russia's access to foreign-built aircraft and engines, making homegrown solutions like the PD-35 essential. Investing in domestic propulsion technology ensures not only industry sustainability, but strategic independence. If successful, the PD-35 could symbolize Russia's resilience and ambition in aerospace despite external pressures, a twin engine. L-96-4OM equipped with this advanced power plant could be Russia's ticket to reshaping its place in global aviation, yet developing such an engine isn't simple. It demands years of R&D, significant investment, and rigorous testing, aiming for service by 2025 is ambitious. High thrust engine design brings numerous challenges, from thermal efficiency to durability under extreme long haul conditions. International certification poses another major hurdle as the engine must meet stringent safety and performance standards before commercial deployment. But what if UEC and Aviadvigadal succeed? Twin engine IL-96 with the PD-35 could open doors to international markets. Airlines seeking alternatives to Western Aircraft may find this model appealing, especially in regions with strong ties to Russia, combining modern design, better fuel efficiency, and lower operating costs could unlock opportunities in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, where demand for cost-effective long-haul solutions grows. Beyond the IL-96400M, the PD-35 could shape the future of Russian aerospace. Serving as a foundation for the next generation of wide-body aircraft, strengthening Russia's position as a self-sufficient aviation power, its versatility extends beyond passenger planes, it's potentially powering military transports or cargo freighters, expanding its market scope. If realized, this engine wouldn't just power a single jet, but become a symbol of technological resilience. In a world where self-reliance grows ever more vital, the PD-35 could mark a turning point for Russian aviation, proving innovation thrives even under constraints. Still, significant hurdles remain. The global aviation landscape is ruled by Boeing, Airbus, GE, and Rolls-Royce, companies with decades of technological head starts and customer trust. For the IL-96400M to gain international traction, Russia must prove the PD-35 matches or exceeds Western engines in reliability, efficiency, and performance. Airlines are naturally risk-averse, making it challenging to convince them to adopt. An entirely new aircraft-engine combination from a historically limited player, 
that this project is about more than just machinery, it's about ambition. If UEC fulfills its promises, the IL-96400M could evolve from a domestic niche aircraft. To a legitimate global contender, a twin-engine version would offer Aeroflot and others a long-haul option, free from Western technology, ensuring resilience in an industry shaped by geopolitics. But the key question remains, can the PD-35 be delivered on time and meet expectations? If Russia succeeds, the IL-96 may not just survive but thrive, ushering in a new era for Russian aviation. It could signal a shift where Russian aerospace moves from catching up to challenging Western dominance. With the PD-35, this aircraft may power a new generation of Russian jets, providing alternatives for nations seeking independence from Western designs. After decades of struggle, the IL-96 stands as a symbol of Russia's perseverance and innovation. Do you believe it can challenge the West, or at least secure success at home? The wait may soon be over. A worthy rival to the Airbus A350 is emerging, and it's not the Boeing 777X. This contender comes from Russia's skies. The IL-96400M is prepared to challenge boundaries and take on even the A350. How will this aircraft outperform the A350 and could it change aviation's future? Rewind to the 1970s and the Ilotti 6's bold leap into wide-body innovation, complete with integrated staircases for remote airports, though at the cost of cargo space. By the late 1980s, the IL-96300 followed, introducing PS90 engines capable of rivaling Western efficiency, hopes ran high, yet its modest capacity and four-engine layout were commercially outdated in a world driven by efficiency. In the 2000s, the IL-96400 arrived, offering upgrades and extended range, but still struggled against Boeing and Airbus in a market favoring twins. Now, with sanctions tightening and domestic tech rising in importance, the story continues. The IL-96400M is a bold revival, boasting extended range, modern avionics, and improved efficiency. It's a clear statement of Russia's challenge to Western supremacy in pursuit of independence. Russia's Deputy Minister of Industry and Trade has confirmed discussions with customers to define requirements for a new long haul. These specifications will guide engine thrust needs. With the PD-35 identified as the ideal candidate for this project, development of this engine spans multiple variants with thrust from 26 to 35 tons aimed at next-gen wide bodies. A technology demonstrator is already testing key components. According to Russia's aviation industry roadmap through 2030, nearly a thousand civilian aircraft are planned. With over half built by UAC, reflecting on the 1980s, Ilyushin produced 149 IL-96300s under the VEN framework. Today's focus shifts toward a modern, efficient, long-haul jet. Aeroflot's CEO has expressed support for a new twin-engine aircraft over the outdated IL-96, emphasizing efficiency and safety. Will this project meet those expectations? Still here? It's fantastic. If aviation excites you as much as it excites us, hit that like button, share the passion, and subscribe. Let's make this journey together. Russia is pinning hopes. On a new wide body with two PD-35 engines to replace the aging IL-96, now mainly serving government roles. Expected post-2030, this aircraft aims to redefine Russia's place in civil aviation. Early specs show ambitions to compete head-to-head -head with the A350, capacity-wise. It's projected to seat up to 436 passengers, exceeding the A351,000's 410. Spacious cabins. Larger storage and modern entertainment systems will enhance passenger comfort. Aerodynamically, the 400M's refined wings reduce drag and improve fuel use. While a streamlined fuselage lowers operating costs, advanced avionics improve control and reliability across weather conditions. As for power, the PD-35 offers 35, 238 tons of thrust per engine nearing the A350 to 900's output. While slightly less powerful, its advanced materials and composite technologies optimize efficiency without chasing raw output, reflecting Russia's engineering philosophy.
expected range is 7,000 to 8,000 nautical miles, competitive with modern wide bodies. Similar to the A352 1000's range, this positions the IL-964 Global Routes, capable of intercontinental flights without refueling. Could this aircraft truly rival Western offerings? Thanks to the PD-35, the IL-96 evolves into a flexible platform for both passengers and cargo. The PD-35 also supports revitalizing older fleets, placing engines on heavy transports like the 124 this represents not only technological progress but a bold bid for aerospace self-reliance. Despite high hopes, the PD-35 faces hurdles. Russia's mid-range programs like the MC-21 and SSJ-100 take priority, pushing PD-35 mass production to 2030 development.